expanded role a few weeks ago, and how was your kind of how's your production lived up to what your expectations were going in? Well, once my role kind of expanded from the middle of the year, I just I was just expected to go out there and, and make sure there was no significant drop off from none of the backs that's been out there. I've honestly just been trying to provide as much help as I can with the role that I've been given. So I'm just really trying to take advantage of it. And I, I feel like I've really succeeded my expectations. Can you kind of describe your relationship with Alvin Kamara? Sort of, has he kind of been a mentor to you and helped you along? So what are you guys, what are your guys' relationship like with Alvin kind of Oh, well, me and Alvin is always going to be really close. He's a big brother to me, like I said before, and he's always going to push me. He's never, like, too easy on me or nothing. Like, he's always making sure he's hard on me because we're just pushing each other to become great. So, Alvin's, me and Alvin are going to have a great relationship for a long time. Mike? Um, this the stakes in this game, John, I, I don't know. Um how aware are you of the of the whole bowl potential sugar bowl versus whatever if you lose? I mean, does this team feel the pressure and the magnitude of this matchup? Oh well, yeah, we definitely know that we got to go out there and win the next game. But we're, that's all we're thinking about is just winning the next game because we know if we take care of what's the task ahead right now, we're going to be able to go to whatever bowl we get a chance to go to, and we're going to be happy with wherever we go, and we're going to go out there. And take it to the next opponent. So we just try to make sure we get these next two victories. Can I, can I follow up on that real quick on, on Vanderbilt's defense? We, we, we've heard so much about him. What about playing a night game against Vanderbilt? And I guess as intimidating as they may seem after what they did to Ole Miss. Oh, well, yeah, they're definitely a good team. And they're just like any other SEC team. All SEC teams are going to be a challenge. And their defense is really good, but we got a pretty good offense. And I feel like if we go out there and execute our game plan, We'll have a good chance of putting ourselves in a winning situation. Rob, John, and Paul. John, with the way Josh has been running the last few weeks, how much does that open things up? Can you tell that the defenders are worried about him maybe leaving some creases and some openings and perhaps over there to start the game? Oh, yeah. Dobbs is a really good athlete. And him, he's just opening up the offense just as much as any other person that makes big plays for our offense. And Dobbs is a really big focus on a lot of defenses, but. I just think that Doc, with what he's doing for the offense is going to be good for everybody. So he's going to open it up for not only me, but a lot of other guys that's going to be able to get chances to make big plays. John, with your guy, whether it's the Gorge or some of the other players that, that has already been labeled as a leader already, and then even a guy who will have an even bigger leadership role moving forward, how do you approach that? And specifically, did you maybe talk to Benzel Bull where any when he wasn't playing to help him because you've been in a similar situation. Oh, definitely. Vinzel is one he's a he's a really good guy. And me and Vinzel have been really close since the recruiting process, along with me and all the other linemen that's that was in our recruiting class. But yeah, you just want to make sure you stay on all the guys to keep them motivated because like I said, you never know when your time's gonna come. You never know when you're gonna get through out there, but you just want to make sure you're prepared. So I just stayed on everybody. John, uh, Dobbs was in here a few weeks ago, and he said that you have a, being from Michigan, you have a northern swag about you. <laughs> Could you expound on what maybe he means by that? Yeah, I don't know what Dobbs talking about. <laughs> Honestly, I just think, I, I don't know, like all these guys, this, this is a whole new experience for me because a lot of them, like from down south, and me being from up north, it's just, it's really just a cultural change, but... Honestly, I, I get along with all the guys on the team. I can hang out with anybody, and they're all open to come hang out with me at my house if they wanted to. So I, I thank Dubs for saying that I got ignored this thing. That's something new. You talked about what, what was the biggest, I guess, culture change that you noticed when you got down south, like being around a bunch of Georgia and Tennessee well, guys? Well, really, it was just a lot of the guys. Like, I couldn't really understand, like, how everyone talked. Because everybody got like their own little slang and like their way of saying things, so it was just it was just funny every time I hear them say like certain things. Wesley. 